memorable studio moments. I remember recording with my man Steve Huff and we was recording Ron Isley. This one he had the ponytail. So the later we had got, it started to like come up. The, one of these pieces of hair would come up like alfalfa, like out of the blue, like for real. You know, he, woo, and he pop his head back up and this little piece was still, and I said, wow. But you know, that was one of the greatest moments. And also talking to Ron about, you know, him coming up in the industry at first too. He was like, yo, one person you did not want to be going on and, and if you wasn't closing, if you were closing, you were in trouble if Michael Jackson opened up. You know what I'm saying? He said, trust me, man. He said, and the crazy thing about that is all he would ask for is some ice cream after the show. He was like, yo, this little kid running around here killing the industry. And all he wanted some damn ice cream after the show. He said he was so scared of the ladies because they would go nuts. So he would actually jump off stage, ask for some ice cream and jump on the bus. He was like, man, he'd never seen nothing like that in his life. So. Big ups to Brian Isaac, had some fun with him too. Every entertainer should want to be meet Michael Jackson, and that was what I wanted to do, but I never got a chance to meet Mike. But in spirit, you know, I just understand, you know, even with my success, I understand the level that he was on. He was on a different level, man, and I see it. I see it, and it's like, wow, for him to maintain it as long as he did, that was amazing, for real. When you come in and you're doing something that everybody else is not doing, you have to have a sense of if you believe you can achieve it. That's how D'Angelo, why D'Angelo is D'Angelo. That's why Prince is Prince. I was like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, we don't wear the same size. So uh, and it was just a moment, you know, and the music was going. So he ran out there, took his pants off, and finished the show in his boxers. You know, I ate good, you know, nice chunk of the brownie. I ate most of the brownie. And I remember looking, sitting in my hotel room, and I was laying there. And, and, the, and the ceiling starts spinning. Everybody ate the mushrooms, we had to do the sound check, and then I'm in my room trying to figure out, like, how I'm gonna get myself out of the drain, because I just felt like I was, I'm, like, 